Today is the 29th of March 2018 and I'm going to do a very quick video to explain what happens when you change the uh, pressure for a pressure buildup test. Uh, in other words, work, the goal is to determine the correct um, pressure at the start of the test. There's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, as you can see, the derivative and the uh, pressure drop are not in agreement. That's because I cheated and uh, reset the pressure drop. I made it 1600 psi. The approximate answer is 1525. So if I put 1525 in there, you can see that it aligns. If I uh, subtract a little bit, let's say 1500 as opposed to 1525, we're going to get a signature like this and you'll see this feature. So basically we're adding or in our case subtracting a constant whichever the way you want to think about it notice that it does not affect the derivative at all so there's a little bit of a strategy to determine what the right uh, pressure at the start of the test is and again the correct value is uh, 1525 more or less using this software package there is an option to uh, add a new plot there's a so-called flexible plot uh, we can make that so-called flexible plot be delta t and p and everything else is fine and then of course unfortunately we have to zoom in uh, I'm going to remove the model because it doesn't belong there uh, the model is from something else so really quickly I'm going to zoom in on this and zoom in a little more and then zoom in a little bit like this and I'm actually going to expand this to the whole screen so the question is where's the start here you can see this is down at zero so one of the things you can do is you can uh, put a regression line here to here and then that line uh, the equation is over here and you can see that its intercept value is approximately 1526 uh, you can also erase that and uh, draw your own line and it'll do more or less the same thing so if I start here oops I should never say oops but uh, not sure what happened there Okay, draw a line. So I'm going to just draw a line through here. And that line is probably also going to be around, okay, so it's 1522. But basically, that's how you could do this by hand. Um, I was going to get out a paper and show you uh, this is how they used to do it in the old days is to make a uh, Cartesian plot and then fit that. But uh, any way you want to do it is pretty much okay. And the software has an algorithm in it that um, will sort of auto pick the best uh, pressure to fit that but for the sake of argument you know you probably want to check it by hand so that's how we determine the correct pressure at the start of the test you can either play with it on the log log plot or you can create this specialized little plot here